Hey everybody, it's Friday morning and we are ready to go to Formula Drift round two, Road Atlanta, my home track, and I'm going to wake up my whole house now. Follow along. <laughs> Tamara is now making an attempt at driving my charger. Not scared at all. What are you trying to do? And she didn't kill herself or my car. Or anybody else. Or any pedestrian. <laughs> I'm much less concerned about them. So it's Friday. My transmission's missing. Because it's over here. This is our GeForce G101A I've been running for the last 12 years. Got the, I'll zoom out. Got the whole crew kind of tinkering with it. Because fourth gear is starting to round off. Probably could have finished the event, but out of an abundance of caution and since I had the foresight to have a second transmission with us, we're gonna go ahead and put that in. This is a very similar text T101A. Um, I really like the G-Force, but um, it basically is the same thing. This was a Joe Gibbs Racing transmission from like 2004. I've been running this transmission for 12 years. This one is a Dale Earnhardt Incorporated transmission. Um, should be really good. We're gonna get this thing put back together and stuck back in the car. Thanks guys. Time to go to the autograph session. All right, on the way to the autograph session and I have my umbrella girls. <laughs> they were pretty sexy, so come see us. All right, here we are, autograph session. I'm very shaded. I'm very progressive now, comp cams. I'm confident that I'll be, I'll be the only person here with male uh, umbrella girls. All right, first thing, Saturday morning. We got our guys with driftcarlift.com. Check out your drift car lift. Get get one for yourself. Finally got our shirts in. James got one sporting. And we also got our spooler on. Got some new Kenda stickers on it. Side skirts are on. Got our indicator to line up our drift car lift, even though it's off a little bit. And uh, our front splitter, finally on. So this thing's styling and profiling, ready to make a statement today. Giving away a bunch of stuff. Come register to win a cam. Okay, time for practice before top 32, pro warm up. Take you on a quick grid walk. And here we go. Always the land rush to get here. Absolute mess of a show to try and get to grid. Quick update, uh, last battle of practice uh, went to 
go in the burnout box and it was like 11.7 volt volts um so the alternator was obviously given up there and um made the lap came back in these guys thrashed on it is that a pressure washer <laughs> this is what ernie was using to pressure wash the underside of the car after i went off yesterday just stab a hole in the cap and squeeze um anyway put one alternator on it dead right out of the box put the second alternator on it and that fixed it so um all good ready to go time to you know is it really is it too much to ask to put chris on the trailer no. i don't no, think so no, it, it would please the chicken mob boss all right do it. as he roasts his tires and oh look at this we're finding out the uh the comp cams corvette has called a, a competition timeout. so here we go the plot thick in here taylor hole and his team thrashing on that taylor still oh they got they got pry bars out man so look at this the clock is ticking down oh this is absolutely 16 15 seconds you got to button up that hood boys Get, pull those tools, get that thing rolling. We got 10 seconds. I don't know if it's going to happen. That comp camp, Kenna Tires Corvette, cheer them on, guys. Five seconds. The hood's got to come on. They got to. Exactly what's going on. One second. He is your Georgia boy, and the clock expires. Ah. Frustration sets in. I'm sorry, guys. That's going to be it for that comp cams. Kenda Tires, Edelbrock. Ah. The worst. Sorry to the whole family. That's, okay. that's that's the worst feeling. Yeah, what happened here is uh, Mrs. Hall here tells me that the alternator has seized. So the alternator seized, and it's just so frustrating. The last battle, yeah. they've been chilling. They're waiting, anticipating, biting their fingernails, and then that happens. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, like you said, it's not a, the big parts. I mean, alternator's not a ah. sense, but... Still, it's not It's not like a whole engine it's seized petty. up. Yeah. It's yeah. just it's petty. Not, it's, it's not how anybody, and on Chris's side, like, that's not how Chris wants no. to win. No. Nobody, nobody here wants to win like that. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. Again, the, the whole family, again, shout, shout, out to, uh, shout out to them, Tamara and, uh, and Taylor, and again, uh, Laura Lai, their, their daughter graduating high school. Lots to celebrate here, but unfortunately, not that. Okay, well, I'm finally in a reasonable enough mental state to make a... I don't know if it'll be to close the video or not, but just kind of explain what happened. We've been doing practice runs of five minute calls uh, since we got back here, but essentially um, at the end of practice, I did um, notice that we were down on voltage. We were only making like 11.9, 12, maybe 12, one on voltage. So I identified that alternator was starting to go bad, put another one on right at the end of, right after the end of practice. It was not making voltage at all. Had another one, put another alternator on, um, and that one seemed to be okay. Went in the burnout box, did my warm up, and started to smell something, and then I started to see some smoke coming under the hood, so we called the five minute. Um, figured out that the alternator, brand new, again, had seized. Um, so this is the alternator, so you really, you can't turn can't even turn the pulley um so yeah uh we were 15 seconds or so short um from getting the belt back on maybe maybe less i don't know um but just a brutal way to lose uh, i would rather lose in legitimately any other way crashing legitimately getting beat um making a mistake myself whatever it is anything but um having a race car beat us so uh, yeah, pretty speechless, um, but I'm finally not so much of a mess where I can at least make a video, um, but embarrassed and, um, yeah, thanks to all the, our partners and the fans and my team, everybody who supports us, um, sorry I let everybody down.